Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. An angle is greater than 45 degree. Is its complementary angle greater than 45 degree or equal to 45 degree or less than 45 degrees? <laughs> so let us have a look at this diagram. So here we have shown 45 degrees because two 45 degrees together make a 90 degree. So this is how 45 degrees would be. Now, what do we know about complementary angles? So for complementary angles, the sum of the angles should be equal to 90 degrees. So that is the criteria for two angles to be complementary. Now in this question, it is given that one angle is greater than 45 degrees. So that means one angle could be somewhat like this. Right? So this could be one angle. Let us call this angle as angle 1. So it is given in the question that angle 1 is greater than 45 degree. Perfect. Now what we have to tell is whether angle 2 would be greater than 45, equal to 45 or less than 45. So if this is angle 1, which one would be angle 2? Obviously the remaining part because 1 plus 2 has to be equal to 90 degree, right? So this part has to be angle 2. So by looking at this part, what can you see? Whether it is less than 45 or more than 45? Because total 45 is this much. So we are considering only this much. So definitely, therefore, angle 2 is less than 45 degrees. Right? It is very evident from this figure. So if one of these is greater than 45 degree, the other has to be less than 45 degree. Similarly, had angle 1 been less than 45 degree, in that case, angle 2 would have been more than 45 degrees. So I hope that with this diagram, it is very much clear that why angle 2 will be less than 45 degree. Because angle 1 is more than 45 degree. So you know, angle 1 has covered some of has taken some part from this 45 degree. So the remaining part is angle 2. Perfect. So let's look at question number 6. <clears throat> In the adjoining figure, is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2? So this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. Are they adjacent? So they seem to be located side by side. Let us look at the criteria. They have a common vertex, yes. They have a common arm, yes, this is their common arm, OC, right? And they do not have common interior points because for angle 1, interior region would be this. For angle 2, the interior region would be this. So they do not have any common uh, interior points. Therefore, yes, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent. Is angle AOC adjacent to angle AOE? So AOC is again angle 1 and AOE is basically this total angle. So are these two adjacent? This angle 1 and this total angle? No, they are not. Why? Because they have a common vertex, that is true. They also have a common arm, that is this arm, it is also true. But they share common interior points because this region is common to both angle AOE and angle AOC. So this region is common region. So they have common interior points. So you will say no because they have common interior points. Do angle COE and angle EOD form a linear pair? So COE that is angle 2 and COD, sorry EOD, EOD that is this angle. So we have to tell whether angle 2 and this angle. So basically we are talking about these three rays. This is one ray. This is another ray and this is another ray. So we are basically talking about only this part. If this angle and this angle, they are linear pair or not? Well, yes, they form a linear pair. When you look at only the red lines closely, you see that angle 2 
plus this angle, this total angle is equal to 180 degree definitely. Moreover, they are also adjacent angle. They have a common vertex. They have a common arm. They do not share common interior points. Therefore, yes, they form linear pair. Angle BOD and angle DOA supplementary. Angle BOD, that is angle 4. And angle DOA, that is angle 5. So here it is asking if angle 4 and angle 5 are supplementary or not. So if you look at angle 4 and angle 5, they together form this angle which is a straight line AOB. Right? So that means they make 180 degrees. So angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore the answer would be yes, they are supplementary. Is angle 1 vertically opposite to angle 4? So this is angle 1 and this is angle 4. So let us look at the lines uh, which are intersecting so that we can understand if angle 1 and angle 4 are formed by intersecting lines or not. So let us highlight the lines which make these angles. So one line would be DC. And what would be the other line? The other line would be AB. So now when you look at AB and BC, AB and CD are intersecting lines. So they intersect at this point. So angle 1 is this angle and angle 4 is this angle. So they are located opposite to each other. So opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines. So therefore, yes, angle 1 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angles. What is the vertically opposite angle of angle 5? So this is angle 5. So the same two lines that is AB and CD when they intersect they form two set of vertically opposite angle. One is 1 and 4 the other one would be 5 and this total angle. So which would actually be angle 2 plus angle 3. So therefore the vertically opposite angle of angle 5 would be angle BOC. So which is actually angle 2 plus angle 3. So that would be the vertically opposite angle of angle 5. So you see this is how you approach to answer questions related to different types of angles. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.